And so I still have a left hand, so that's pretty awesome because I like this one. Sheep! Fucking sheep everywhere! <laughs> bye bye, white sheep. Wait, that's not how it goes. You need to go away. Oh, not even on the sheeps. Not even on the sheep, son of a dick. Boys, it's it's hard to see. This is point and co how the fuck you doing? I always this is gonna be my new thing. Uh, yeah. Case in point, hard as fuck to film and drive. Well, hard as fuck to film well and drive well. You can do both pretty shittily, pretty easily. I apologize. I don't know. I don't know if it is going to be a barn. I guess it's going to be a big workshop, I'm guessing. Surely it's not going to be a house with all that cinder block. I don't know, boys. That's some sand over here. They clearly laid a base. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. It's gotta be a workshop, I'd imagine. Probably a spot to store all that big equipment. He's got, yo, yep. Raleigh. They just clear cut all this. They just finished clear cutting it not too long ago. This was full of trees. This was full of trees, boys. She not full no more. I don't have a range, boys, so what do you know about the skillet on top of the flat grill tech? Oh, dick, getting fanty pant. Getting fanty pant. Best checking her bacon, for fuck's sakes. Uh, she's not ready yet. Why the fuck isn't she ready? Oh, because I haven't been cooking her long enough. Okay, alright. Gotta cook her longer. Alright, I see how it's gonna be. Ah, uh, all my dirty dishes, bowls, hiding in the... hiding in the precarious... precariousness of the multiplex stacked dish drainer art slash fuck yourself apologize i apologize i apologize i apologize get the fuck out of my way i apologize oh my fuck one of these days boys i'll have some fucking room Holy Christ, I hate my kitchen. Alright, I'm gonna cut some of these up for utilization purposes, and then I gotta freeze the rest because uh, they're gonna go bad. And bell peppers are too damned expensive. Oh, that's not a vegetable knife. Oh, look for these in an upcoming project soon. What could it be? I don't know. See if you can guess. I don't know. See if you can fucking guess. See if you'll be a guesser, yeah! The question is, the question, should I cut them up and then freeze them? Probably be easier, right? Just cut them up and then freeze them. Is that how you do it? Is that how you do it? Apparently not. Yeah, it doesn't want to go through that little skin. Maybe I'm using the wrong knife. Maybe I should be using a serrated blade instead of this vegetable blade thing. But green pebbles are vegetables, so I'm not sure why it wouldn't work. Wow, boys, I gotta fold laundry. I still am in the process of doing laundry over here. Nobody's come and helped me at all. Nobody come to help me do the laundry. What do y'all know about the, the old knife sharpening tech here? I know how to do that one. I know how to do whetstones. 
I don't know how to do this, whatever this is. I don't know what that is. But uh, ever since I discovered these fuckers, see, I'm not sure this is supposed to be razor sharp anyway, though. Because it's always weird. It looked more like a flat blade. Look, you can't even see it coming at you. You can't even saw that you were about to fucking die. Ever since I discovered this, I stopped using a whetstone. Unless I really just nicked the fuck out of my blade, and I gotta take some serious, uh, some serious metal off of it. Okay, so that's reservation. Reservation. It's still not going to that skin. Look. That's not a cut bell pepper, for fuck's sakes. I guess I'm gonna have to get a different knife. I guess I'll get Big Daddy. better. No, it's not better. Son of a dick. That's garbage. Yeah, that didn't work for shit. Somebody sent me a new knife set. This goddamn most expensive knife set I ever bought, and apparently it's Garbaggio's. I'm about to take it back to the old motherfucking cracked ass pampered chef for fuck's sakes. The old cracked ass pampered chef. Where the fuck are you? How the fuck you doing? Hiding. There you are. Oh, you guys, you're making me burn the bacon up. You let me burn uh, the bacon. I just flip some hot grease right onto my camera lens. And zero foxing. Okay, you cook. Probably got to set a timer. This thing is awesome, but the wife's sleeping from graveyard, so I'm not sure I should be using it. But it's super, super awesome. Like, you don't even need to... I mean, we'll try these big chunks. Technically, you're not supposed to put in quite this big, I believe, but we'll try it. What do you think, boys? See, green pepper's still not so good. It's the it's the skin. It's the skin, probably. Maybe I just need a serrated blade. Yep, that's what I needed, was a serrated blade. Flexi cutting board, so I could just pick it up and dump everything in a fucking bag. But hands work pretty good too, just not as good as flexible plastic, which is why we all want flexible plastic hands. Yeah, we do. Bacon timer. I heard it. What are you doing, boys? Okay, so those are freezer bound. Little pro tip for you boys. Little pro tip for from the non-pro. You always want to get as much air out of your bags going in the freezer as possible. Less air, less chance of freezer burn. I don't know if there's any science behind that. There probably is. But based on my experience, that is the result. Garbage freezer, I gotta pound the fucking shut, make sure it stays shut. Oh yeah, she's uh she's about done boys. Danger zone! In the danger zone! Love hot grease on my skin. Love that kind. How you like your bacon, boys? Am I even in the shot? Am I even in the fucking shot? Uh how you like your bacon, boys? You like it crispy? You like it crispy? Well, I like it crispy, and I'm the one eating it, so go fuck yourself. I apologize. That was horribly rude. The old, uh... The old... The old double cookware tech. I don't know what the fuck you call that. The old... Pan on pan. Pan pan. Beach pizza. And he cut his thumb right off. Do 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 do. Bloody, bloody peppers. Bloody green peppers from cut up thumbs. 
I've got a good story to tell you. I've probably told the story before. I'm known for telling my stories repeatedly, but since I have very few viewers, chances are nobody's heard the story. Okay, some of are probably a little too big, but I am going to make a judgment call and zero foxy. Okay, so we bought, needed a, needed a good knife, had this garbage knife set that was almost gone, needed a good knife, so we purchased, we purchased this knife. We purchased this knife from from Walmart because you know there's not a lot of places to shop around here and it's a Hampton Hampton Forge 8 inch chef knife and we liked it right comes with a little handy dandy plastic case pretty decent certainly the best quality knife we've ever had it was like I don't know 12 bucks or something and then saw the actual whole set on sale which is what this is uh, for like 60 bucks or something so we bought it one day but that was after having used this knife for months and pulling it out of the drawer cleaning it, putting it right back in the drawer. Okay, but obviously you pull out of the drawer, you gotta take it out of its case, right? So when we first got, okay. So when we first got this knife set, I'd be goddamned if I didn't pull that knife out and went to take the case off and just would've just, obviously just, you know, cut my fingers completely off of my fucking hand. But, uh, Luckily, very last second, somehow, I had some sort of realization as to what the fuck I was doing, and stopped. And so I still have a left hand, so that's pretty awesome, because I like this one. Not as much as this one, but it's pretty close. And drain your bacon, boys. Ah, bacon's hot. Hot grease is hot, also. Don't know if you're aware of that. Ouch. Okay, so I don't know. Do you drain your bacon, boys? I do. I'm trying not to die of a heart attack. I've been draining it for years, plus it facilitates the crispiness, and nobody wants chewy bacon, unless you're stupid. I apologize, that was rude, some of you very well may like crispy bacon, you just happen to be wrong. That is, wow, wow, mutton, mutton chop, you're never going to get any friends that way, buddy. Just right in the water, greasy fucking grease, ah, fuck it, I got nowhere else to put it. I don't like to do that, but it'll be alright. You'd be aight. Yes, coffee filters, because I don't, we don't fry hardly anything. So we don't really use paper towels or waste. Terrible, terrible waste. I'd rather just, I use a lot of kitchen towels. Oh, just grease all over the counter, zero fox. Heating right up, as it were. Get a little bit of butter, probably, for fuck's sakes. Gonna need some. Oh, guys, you don't even know what we're making, do you? you don't even, I haven't even told you. Oh, I haven't even told you what we're making. I hadn't even told you what we're making, boys. We're making a special little thing I like to call an omelet. Yeah, I do. I like to call it an omelet, for fuck's sakes. So we got some chus and some turkey and some ham and we'll need some eggies and three eggs. Never more than three eggs for an omelet, guys. I don't know if you're aware of that. Don't know if y'all are aware that uh, three eggs makes the perfect omelet. I learned that from a movie that some of my older viewers or lack thereof, may remember, called uh, Deep Blue Sea with Sam Jackson, although it's not really Sam Jackson because I'm pretty sure, spoiler alert, he dies pretty early. Uh, but it also has LL Cool J, ladies love Cool J, don't know if you knew that or not, but they do, and uh, also had, shut the fuck up, we are not on the cat food motherfucking mission right now, bitch, you need to keep fucking just walk the fuck away, walk right the fuck away, bitch. You've eaten twice today. Get the fuck away from me. Go fuck yourself, you fucking princess. Holy fuck, that cat is a cunt. Goddamn, 20 fucking cats outside miserable and your princess ass is like, Can I eat for the fourth fucking time today some soft fucking bits in my mouth, motherfucker? Soft bits inside my gullet? No, bitch, you fucking can't. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by this cunt cat... Um, 
Yeah, so, you know, LA, LL Cool J is the chef on the boat. And it's not really a boat, but whatever. Uh, and he proceeds to tell us how the perfect omelet is indeed made with three eggs and never milk. And the way to achieve the fluff factor is to just whip the ever-living fuck out of it. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, of course. I don't think he quite uses that terminology. But yeah, you just want to beat the fuck out of the eggs. Keto Perfect Omelet Hot Hot Pan. Key to cooking an omelet in a pan on top of a actual another cooking pan. <laughs> Flat iron grill, or whatever, is patience, fucker. I mean, it's the key anyway, but definitely in this in this format, because you're gonna there's definitely some heat loss. Just not even filming a fucking thing, am I? Just not even filming a fucking thing. Yes, boys and girls, patience is what you want. Put some little peppers in your omelet. Peppers make your omelet taste so nice. Probably too many peppers, I don't give a fuck, because I like peppers in my omelet. Damn, I'm a good songwriter. Just call me Weird Al Mutton Shop, for fuck's sakes. Alright. You like a little Cajun turkey in your omelet? I mean, it's a nice slice, so why the fuck wouldn't you? Oh, baby, should you, should we, should we tear it up a little bit? Probably I'll tear it up a little bit. Probably be a good idea. Tear it up. Oh, this omelet is just going to be overflowing with tasty goodness. I just fucking can't, boys. I just can't. A little bit of Virginia ham, for fuck's sakes. Why the hell wouldn't you? Oh, delicious. Why the hell wouldn't you put some Virginia ham in there? When you tear that up, fuck it. Whole slices. Zero fox. A little bit of that in your mouth will do you good. Oh. Delicious. Delicious. And cheese. Gotta have cheese. Carefully your fingertips, boys. Carefully your fingertips. When cheese gets close, you don't want to, you don't want any skin in your omelet. Or maybe you do. Maybe you're a cannibal, for fuck's sakes. How the hell would I know? Oh, we're never closing this, boys. Why you put so much pepper on there? Shut up. I like pepper. You don't even throw your garbage away. I'm leaving that shit out on my counter. What's wrong with you? Got the eggs out still. You had not put the eggs away. Boys. And, most tragic of all, you are about to forget the fucking addition of bacon. Boys, you're about to forget that. You're burning the fucking omelet. Gotta get your bacon in there, for fuck's sakes. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, gotta get your bacon in there. Ah. Uh, it's not as crispy as I would like to. Ah. Uh, my hands are greasy. Ah. Uh, Oh, the water's hot. Uh, I complain too much. Uh, all right, new big spatula. Crunch time now, boys. Crunch time. I told you we ain't never gonna get it closed. Holy fuck! What were we thinking? What were we thinking? Putting so much stuff in there, boys. Holy shit! We'll never get it closed now. Never get a close now, boys. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. You made a giant delicious omelet that won't close. Fuck sakes. Fuck sakes. Not even slowed down. That was on the fly edit, boys. On the fly edit. Little bit of patience in your life. Little bit of patience for your wife. See, we still got some egg, little egg cheesy juices in there. So, patience, boys. It's 
especially like if we ever want to flip this, which I'm not even sure we can, we definitely want to have patience because we can't flip it yet. Can't flip it yet, boys. Oh, I put the ham away. You forgot about that too, didn't you? Mm, what do we want? Milk with our omelet? Yeah, we freaking do. Bitch! Well, here, allow me to give you some milk since you're just fucking gonna non stop princess it until I give you something, huh? Oh, yeah, that's not good enough for you, huh? You meow when I pour the milk and then you won't even drink it because you're a miss fucking press. I apologize. Should I, do I need to carbonate it for you? What would you like? Slightly warmed? Boys, you're making me burn the omelet. Oh, we got the flip in. Boys, gorgeous. Gorgeousity at its finest. What do we need now? We need cheese, boys. You gotta have cheese. The addition of cheese. Hey, freaking dude. Go ahead and unplug it. She's pretty much done. Go ahead and unplug her. Put the rest of that cheese on there if you can. It's a small. Don't get your fingers. Be careful. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Just don't even try. Just shake the last bit on there. Take that little piece. Pop it in your mouth. That's good eating right there. Just eat that up. Ain't no sense of putting that little piece of cheese back in the fridge for fuck's sakes. He's going to get yelled at by somebody. Or be pissed off at yourself when you want cheese and you go in there and that's all you find. You're going to be like, what the fuck, really? That's all the cheese I got? You'll be like, I thought I was about to have a cheese party, but no, no. Some jackass just put some tiny little sliver back in the fridge. So yeah, don't be that jackass, boys. Just butter all over my fingers. Just zero fox. That rag's dirty anyway. I'm gonna use it as my fucking mouth rag and my zero fox rag. Now somebody's got to clean the cutting board. Fuck! This this baby's got to be done, boys. What do you think? Holy shit! I'm not sure if that's an omelet you might want. Thumbnail. I'm not sure if that's even something you might fucking want. Bum my fingers a little bit right there. I'm fucking on the fucky finger. The fucky finger. It's not good to put your hot pans directly in the water. But I'm kind of out of counter space in case you hadn't fucking noticed. In case you hadn't noticed. I guess I could put it over here on this cutting board for now. Probably be alright right there. You stay. And what do we need? We need bacon on our plate. Right, boys? Gotta have a bacon. Oh, boys. The bacon. Delicious. Put our butter away. I like to keep mine in the microwave so it's always a little bit soft. Now we gotta clean the counter, there's grease all over it. You boys are making a mess in my kitchen. I hope you're gonna enjoy this omelet. And last but not least, oh boys, gotta have a little salsa, don't you? Of course you do. Why the fuck wouldn't you like salsa? What are you, my wife? What are you, my wife, not liking salsa on your omelet for fuck's sakes? Unacceptable. Trying a new brand of salsa. I typically buy uh <laughs> Bitch, you don't want no salsa. You don't want no salsa. You don't even like that gang. You got milk in your bowl. Miss Princess. What do you want outside now? You want outside? Oh, is that what you want? Because I don't speak cat. You want skeezer? Nope, guess not. Oh, Ruger's outside. He wants in. Like a son. He's like, it's so hot, Daddy. It's so hot. It's so hot and it smells like you made me an omelet. So yeah, I usually try, uh, I usually have Hernandez. We're out, and I like Hernandez. I think that's what it's called. Hermanas, I don't know. I thought I saw this stuff. Riverwalk Cantina, probably from the Riverwalk Cantina in on the San Antonio uh, Riverwalk in San Antonio, Texas. So I thought I'd give it a try. Eh, it's okay. It's not so good. Oh, how, how you doing? I'm just double. Yup. I apologize for that outburst I've just had. But, uh, yeah, so omelet's done, and that's how you make a fucking awesome omelet. And then I gotta let you go, because I gotta put this shit in my mouth. So something, 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 you know.
And now you just don't want to go outside at all and you just want to sleep on the couch. This is vacation kitty. This is vacation kitty. They start talking to me, you're bothering me.